Right, so this is Avalino with Digimon World 2003 Part 46. Uh, I just went, well, I didn't want to walk all the way through, um, what's it called, the Dum Dum Factory, so I just uh, cut that part out and saved that Paltrow Oasis. Uh, as was last time where I was getting annoyed at the plot about Lucky Mouse and that, we have to go back to Asuka City. Because uh, now we know that uh, Megami is part of the AOA. Still don't know what that stands for. I wonder if it's actually even said anywhere. Might be in the Japanese version of the game. Well, there was some... For some reason, I think the game's running slightly slower than it was beforehand. It's like, it lags at points while I'm recording it. I'm gonna see if I can, uh, well, fix that somehow. <laughs> I need to, well, honestly, I need to record more of this game and Digimon World 1. But it's kind of annoying having to play through, well, technically having to play through these games twice. Oh yeah, another thing. I uh, went on Game FAQs to, well, check some of the forums and uh, I've seen a, a rate, people doing uh, ratings and a tier list to say of the character, well, for Digimon. Uh, as you can probably guess, Patamon's near the bottom. Uh, but Kumon's near the bottom as well. But anyway, he, he, since I beat uh, Taomon however many videos ago, I uh, haven't went back to this guy. So now we have Renamon as well. Renamon's actually rated pretty high. She's not too much different to Patamon, but she gains the XP. Uh, about as fast as Gilman, the forum said. I, I agree with the uh, tier list what people generally said, except uh, I think Kumon's better than. is actually one of the better characters, well, Digimon in the games. He gets low MP, but he has huge uh, HP, which is a lot more useful than the other stats. But uh, I do agree, Patamon is completely worthless. Wait, I cut that part out. And as you can see here, uh, I have to get that treasure chest again. Because I have to restart the game and stuff. But this time, uh, the Cyclone Mon won't be giving me as much trouble here. Oh wait, I, I just remembered I uh, forgot some, well, kind of. As I was saying, I need to really get more videos done for, well, record more footage. But I've kind of been distracted, like, uh, with certain game, well, games that have came out, but mostly my uh, A, A levels. <laughs> I, well, it's not too much of a problem since I've been doing the past papers and other practice papers and I uh, get really good marks. It's just, even last year I didn't get as, do as good as I thought I would during the actual exams, but on the time up and to the exams I did, like, much better. But anyway, I'm going to try, even though it's got nothing to do with the game, <laughs> sorry for me, just like, saying, I'm going to try and make sure I get those A's. <laughs> uh, 
anyway, we're in the sewer. I'm just uh, setting up before the uh, well. There's a bat battle. Also, there's something you can steal from the boss. I don't actually end up stealing it, but the boss you can from the boss you can get a recovery crest. It restores a small amount of HP each turn. I don't actually remember what it's based off of. It's or if it heals a percentage, but it apart from the counter crest, it is a pretty good item. Or maybe compared to the counter crest, it's still a pretty good item. But the counter crest massively makes it well makes it look like nothing, especially on Digimon World 3, where it counters all physical attacks. Which I've probably said before, but and Datamon's telling me to come up with my own line. Let's get it on! Like Donkey Kong, mm, I suppose. Anyway, this boss can be extremely annoying. That's why I put the counter crest back onto Kumamon, even though I said I wouldn't be. He attacks it. He attacks four times in a row, and it's really well accurate because Gilman has a huge speed that he block he evades lots and lots of attacks. But all four goals can get through. I think it's the same for most bosses. Hmm. He did get one block though, but. Not enough to save him. Oh yes, back to the forum thing. Uh, if I recall, I think uh, the balanced pack at the start of this game, uh, it, people were deciding is the best pack, but I strongly disagree that I think the pack with Gilmon in is, well, the one that you should be taking, mostly because you can steal items much earlier than with any other pack, I think. Although you, could, you can get Gilmon pretty early in the game from, you know, the DRI agents. Also, well, <laughs> I'm getting all... Mixed up by talking about different things. Datamon, I, I haven't said why he's annoying. He can use that move right there, auto recover. And he evades dozens of attacks. So if you don't have a counter crest on, he's. It's obscenely difficult to damage him. Because if you are healing, he's gonna heal. And then. If you're attacking, he's just going to kill you with his uh, four attacks in a row. Unless you're, well, uh, at a high level, it's, it's a really tough boss battle. Can I finish it off with two more? And so that's Datamon defeated. Also, at level 60, uh, well, skill level 60, Grismon learns its uh, ultimate attack, which is Mar what was it, Brutal Marley. It's not that good, it's basically a counter that you have to activate by yourself, but it only does half damage. And where by beating Datamon, you get the rusty gloves. It's equipment for Kumamon. But as of now, it's useless. Though Datamon tells you that there's uh, those old and rusty weapons that we have, if you find certain Digimon, when you 
rookies that are above level 45, I think, you can upgrade. But anyway, we also talked to him about the, uh, but it's getting inside a super city, but he says, he says you can't without a staff pass. But anyway, this is all for that video, this video, so thanks for watching, see you next time.